Digital is really the best way to play on Xbox and it's giving you the most options. You're going to be able to get the broadest library of games. You're going to be able to get awesome discounts and deals. Overall, we think it's an experience that is convenient, safe, and just really fun and easy to use. In addition to sharing some of those awesome new features and investments we've been making, I want to talk about some of the misconceptions that people have about digital and help clear those up. Digital gaming with Xbox is convenient in many ways. The first thing that comes to my mind is the fact that my library of games is available all in one place. I don't need to get up off of my couch to switch the game I want to play. Uh, I can just move between them quickly. And with Xbox Series X and S and the quick resume feature, that's better than ever. I can actually have multiple digital games running simultaneously and I can hop back into where they were. I don't need to start over from the start screen and save me valuable gaming minutes when I get my time to sit down at night and play. It's really convenient to go shopping for digital games. I don't have to go to a physical retail location. I can shop from my own couch and look at my Xbox store, get the games I want. And if I'm not at home, I have the access to the awesome Microsoft.com store where I can buy games. And I even have the Xbox mobile app where I can pre-install games and get them ready to play. So when I show up at home on my console, I can just start playing. One of the things we hear most from fans are concerns about hard drive space and that digital games are actually gonna take up more space than their disc games and limit what they can play. I think that's a great misconception to clear up because in order to take advantage of the awesome hard drive speeds, especially on the Xbox Series X and S with the Xbox Velocity architecture, disc games actually get installed to the hard drive so you can take full advantage of those amazing hardware features and speed. So as a result, disc games and digital games don't really take up a different amount of space on your hard drive. Additionally, with digital games, you can uninstall and reinstall them at any time. So just because your hard drive is full doesn't mean that you should feel limited with the amount of games you can get or your ability to get new games. On the Xbox Digital Store, we believe we have the broadest variety of Xbox games that you can buy. Not just our largest AAA games, but often many smaller ID at Xbox titles that are only available digitally. In addition to these great Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One games, the Digital Store also includes a lot of backwards compatible 360 and original Xbox games, some of which are really difficult to buy in physical form, which makes the Digital Store a really great outlet to get some games you can only get there. We've revamped our overall Xbox Store on the console to make some improvements to make it a lot easier to find things, and we've even built a new first run experience. So if you've never used the store before, we walk you through how you can find and purchase content if that's unfamiliar to you. If you have other challenges that are, are with finding content and, and you're confused Confused, our websites on xbox.com and microsoft.com make it easy to find that content and address other common misconceptions you might have. One of the things my team and I have been working on that we're really excited about is the improvements to the Microsoft Store on Xbox. We've used to make the store much faster and we hope a lot more convenient to use for our fans. So if I know the exact game I want, I can search for it. Uh, if I'm looking for deals, it's easy for me to find those deals. And if I just want to shop some of the top games categories, like what's new or what are the top free games or the best rated games, those are really easy to access. We have a wide variety of deals available all the time for our Xbox customers. From spotlight sales like this, where Focus Home Entertainment has a publisher sale running right now, to sales that are for all sorts of different games available for all Xbox customers. Uh, and these sales don't just include Xbox One or Series X and S games. These include back and pat games like Xbox 360 or original Xbox titles. Even better, if you're a member of our, our subscriptions like Xbox Live Gold or Xbox Game Pass, you get an additional assortment of great discounts to help you save even more money on add-ons and games. We have a wide variety of deals available all the time for our Xbox customers. While that is a big chunk of our library that is rotating through discounts, it's not always the game you're looking for that's on sale. So if you're looking at a top new game and you find that it's not on sale, but you want to wait for a discount, we make it really easy to add that game to your wish list. And when that game goes on sale, you'll get notified. So when I look at my wish list here, I see that this other game is on sale. I've got a notification waiting for me in my inbox that let me know that so I can get in and get that great value. If we're talking about deals, it's really hard not to talk about some great digital programs we have at Xbox like Xbox Game Pass. For one low monthly rate, you get access to over 100 games and discounts on buying those games to own and their DLC and add-ons. It's an amazing value that we think is really one of the best in gaming. One of the things we know about our Xbox fans is that they have different internet speeds, and downloading a large game can feel like a hurdle or an inconvenience. To try and help them, we've made a lot of different improvements. So first, on the shopping side, we make it easy for people to buy from our websites on Microsoft.com and Xbox.com, and pre-install content so that way it can be ready and waiting for them when they get home. We can do the same thing on the Xbox mobile app, where customers can pre-install games and have them ready when they are. Additionally, if you have your console in instant on mode, the updates for your games are going to install in the background. So when you show up and you're ready to play, 
those updates are all in place and you don't have anything you need to wait for before you can jump in and start having fun. For customers who find the digital shopping experience and playing experience a little cumbersome, in addition to improvements we've made with our Microsoft Store on Xbox, we made other improvements to the digital game library experience as well that make it easier to find and sort between the games you play. So from home, I'm always one click away from my games and apps. And inside of my games and apps, I can see every game that I have installed, all my apps. And if I wanna look at the games that maybe I own but don't have installed, they're all right here waiting for me in a way that is really easy to filter and sort, get loaded up and be ready to play. On the library side, digital is great because the things you buy stick to your account, not your console. So when you move from one Xbox to another, your full game library is there waiting for you. Even if you go over to your friend's house, it's there. And you can share it with your family thanks to the home Xbox system. For me personally, I used to lose discs and scratch discs all the time. And every digital purchase I've made in the Xbox ecosystem over the last decade, from my 360 to Xbox One to now Series X and S, are all available for me. And I feel really good about the, that investment and, and how safe that's been. And I think others should feel equally excited as well. Again, my name is Cody Bird, and I'm the program manager lead for Xbox Digital Stores. And I hope you have a great time gaming with Xbox.